Another way to use Google for your research purposes is to find out what websites are linking back to your website, how many backlinks you're doing, how you're doing as far as getting engagement from other websites. That's going to help determine where you're ranking because Google likes to see people sharing your content. They like to see that your content is being shared out there. So you can check on your website. It's also fantastic for checking on your competition's website. So for example, let's go here and do a search. It's a link search. So it's links colon and then we'll put in our website. Links colon and then put in your website. And what I like to do here, because it brought up 136,000 results, uh, what I like to do here is actually take my URL and put it in quotes. So you could do just the, um, you know, without doing anything else like HTTP or www, but I personally like to, um, you know, only do like just the domain like this because I can get a true picture of all of the links coming to my website. Now, if I wanted to find out who's linking to me by just www.builtfit.com, uh, you could do that. Notice it dropped it by about 50,000, right? So it dropped it tremendously there. Uh, but you can see here that there's a lot of places um, that happen to be linking to uh, this website because it's been around for, for a little while. And so we can click through there. Now, some of them aren't probably the best links we want because um, they're kind of those junky websites, right? So we may want to go through and say, ah, I need to get some of these links removed because they're now hurting my website because they're not quality content sites and that could look bad, right? So there's, you know, several schools of thought there, you know, but I'm in the muscle, this website's in the muscle building niche market, muscle building. So let's just type in uh, muscle building. So uh, bodybuilding.com shows up at the top. Uh, breakingmuscle.com. So this site is not, you know, the reason I passed over bodybuilding.com is because they're like the biggest one in the niche, right? And there's a reason they're up there. They're huge. You're not going to overtake them no matter how many backlinks you get. It's going to take you too long. So just focus on like the lower hanging fruit, like um, breakingmuscle.com. It's not like it's a brand name. It's not a huge brand name business. So um, breakingmuscle.com. So I'm going to go here and just do a link search on that. So I'll do links and then breakingmuscle.com. And this is going to bring me to a list of websites that are uh, potentially uh, going to be linking back to this site. So uh, let me go back here, make sure I have that link right. Uh, breakingmuscle.com. Yeah, breakingmuscle.com. Links, L I N K S, colon, breakingmuscle.com. All right, and they said, did you mean that? Um, so let's see, there are links that do show up here. So um, if we go down here, we can kind of get an idea of what websites are actually linking um, into this. Um, into this source. So that's one of them. Uh, let's go strong, stronglifts.com is another one. So links and then stronglifts.com. And we get a picture of their link profile to see who's linking to them. And what you're looking for is to come up with, okay, well, if this website linked and it looks like a high quality website, if they linked into, um, you know, this stronglifts.com, then Maybe um, you know. Maybe you should look into them for obtaining a backlink, or maybe you should go to their website and figure out how can I get a backlink. So that's how you do the backlinks check. Simple search parameter: links dot the domain or links colon the domain name you're going after. And you could try both the www dot the domain and then just the domain without the www on it, just to see yeah how the results vary for you as well.